Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you were Jenny Mai, it looks like you just got everything you wanted in Jeezy's divorce. And so much so that it looks like there is a gag order and all documents are sealed, baby. I'm not saying Jenny got everything she wanted from Jeezy plus more. I am saying that Jeezy's ex, Mahi, that she had to sue Jeezy because he wasn't paying child support. He didn't buy her a car. He tried to make her look like she was insane and all this stuff. And I get it because I guess her and Jenny got history, but she came in and wrote an affidavit for Jeezy talking about he's the perfect dad. He would never, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, and Jeezy's nanny, uh, my, I hope you got that increase to child support or whatever that man promised you for going to bat for him because he got, well, he got what he asked for, but not what he wanted. Jenny has settled her case. Jenny has gotten, from what I'm hearing, a very favorable settlement. G Jenny got paid out more than Jeezy ever wanted her to be. And because of that, he has those documents sealed. Now, here's the thing. Everybody, including his exes, that he dogged out and went up for him, ask yourself what you actually got from that. And don't get me wrong. I don't mean any... Uh, ill will to Mahi. Because at the end of the day, she got to deal with that mo mofo too. But the people are saying the reason he actually sealed all the documents is because he doesn't want his other baby moms to know how much Jenny's getting and how much she got over. Because if they did, they would be very, very upset and they would be running back to court to get a piece of the pie. Baby! Let's get into this. Woo! They're saying Jeezy and Jenny have finalized their divorce. But get this, the case was put under seal. They are saying that as part of the settlement, Jeezy demanded it. Because don't forget that Jenny actually challenged the financial documents that he gave before she entered into the prenup. She challenged those documents and basically implied that Jeezy gave him her fake financial documents, basically implying, if I read the documents right, that Jeezy was hiding money. If Mahi and the other baby's mom knew how much money he was allegedly hiding, maybe they should actually look into that and get that money. Because baby, I want every woman that had to deal with the scourge of Jeezy to win. You better run that fool's money up. I just hope whatever she got for writing that letter on behalf, not even letter, that affidavit on behalf of Jeezy, I pray to God that they, she got that money up front. Because one thing we know about Jeezy, if what the streets are saying is true, that mofo is cheap and don't care if somebody share his blood. He ain't giving up a dime. They're saying Jeezy and Jeannie Mai's divorce is in the books because they've come to a settlement and they're going out of their way to keep the details under wraps. According to new court docs obtained by TMZ, the two exes who have been squabbling a lot lately over child custody, claims of abuse, and other ugly and cheating Ugly tidbits have settled their divorce. And not just that, they filed to wrap up the whole thing under seal so the details won't be public. They said, of course, there is a ton of back and forth over the past few months with Jeezy alleging Jeannie was keeping his daughter from him. <laughs> okay. And making his parenting time with Monaco incredibly difficult. While Jeannie my fire back suggesting Jeezy keeps bang bangs around in a way that isn't safe for him and has also made big dv claims against him and including cheating you'll recall she alleged abuse against jeezy claiming he'd gotten physical with her in the past jeezy denied all her claims and vowed to fight for the truth in court too bad that they actually had counseling sessions with an, a, an unbiased therapist where he admitted according to jeezy genie he admitted to all this. While it seemed like this thing was going to drag out for a while in the public eye, Jeezy and Ginny have now settled the case and got an order allowing them to place all the documents under seal. Therefore, the details of their settlement will remain hidden from public view, including any terms about custody, child support, property splits, and spousal support. It's, they said it's been a long saga, but it's all over now, and they're officially unattached in the eyes of the law. Now listen. Let me just say this. And I get it. Apparently, Mahi had beef with Jenny Mai because don't forget that, and I didn't forget, Jenny Mai came into like, I was raised to serve my man because Je Jeezy had her brain wars. She came in thinking the issue was why Jeezy was never a good man to anybody else is because he couldn't find a woman that submit, but she was willing to submit until she found out it was all a con. So I get it, right? 
Jeezy, Ginny, the Mahi, I don't know if there was overlap, but there was definitely something. And Jeezy, if my assumptions are right, manipulate the situation. So Mahi and Ginny were like going at each other. So I get it. My one to get a dig in on Ginny, maybe, right? Because it seems odd that you write in character references for a man in the own court documents. You said, dog, you out treated you horrible and really for the longest time had no genuine interest in being a parent wouldn't even you had to file a motion for the judge to hold him in contempt of court but that said i want every woman to win and i actually think that jeezy is the problem here so my out listen whatever he promised you you make sure you get that double also if it was me i would 100 percent try to get those court records to actually see, because I guarantee you the reason he wants them sealed is because there's something that he doesn't want these other baby moms to know. And it's something that if Mahi and the other woman knew about it, baby, those kids will be sitting even more lovely than they should be. Again, for any woman that has dated Jeezy, go on and get that. Make his pocket hurt. That's the only thing he cares about. Jenny Mai did it. And the thing is, you cannot tell me that those, if those, if Jeezy had one and got even anything he wanted in a divorce, he would have been shouting it for the rooftops. He would have. Look at the way he, in my opinion, he made this public. He was the first person to leak the divorce documents. He was the first person to try to make Jenny seem like she was a weirdo. He was the first, he's done it with all his baby's moms. Remember when he said Mahi was crazy, tried to make it seem like she was bipolar, said that Mahi made an attempt, threatened to murk him? Y'all remember that? I do. Go read the court documents. They're right there. This is his MO. For him to want these documents sealed, when Jenny alleged cheating and she said there was a clause, I think it was a clause A8 in the prenup saying that if you cheat, you got to pay me money, right? When Jenny uh, challenged the prenup and said that she he had falsified documents and that she wanted the prenup reviewed, when Jenny talked about child support, child custody, all that. If he had won anything, he would have blasted it because every single time he thought he had Jenny on the ropes, he went in on her. The fact that this is private, it lets me know you lost big time. And on top of that, that was a term in the negotiation. Jenny was probably like, fine, I'll seal the documents, but you better give me what I want. And I'm not playing with you, baby. He found out the bay don't play. Hey, that's that bay shit. She from the bay. She you that's a little different. Woo! Doing the sweet, listen, Jenny Crip walked all over Jeezy's bank account. You cannot tell me it did. And Jeezy would love nothing more to be vindicated and embarrass Jenny, but he couldn't. I do want to say for the other women that Jeezy has been playing in their faces, learn by Jenny's example. Go for the jugular. You'll probably get it. My, I hope she gets quadruple what she's currently getting. Jeezy's first baby one, I hope she gets triple kits. I hope everybody gets even more than they can. Jeezy got the money. And for the way he plays in people's faces and starts off with that indubitably, you know, that T.I. Atlanta indubitably, the gentleman mess. Baby, listen, go ahead. Run that man's pockets up. And we already see from all his Instagram posts, he don't even be putting lotion on his ankles. So go ahead and take that lotion money. He ain't you like go ahead and take that money. He ain't using it for lotion. Anyway, y'all, listen. Congrats to Jenny Mai for getting everything that she de uh, uh, deserves. I'll say to Jeezy, better luck next time because I give it about two more years before he makes another family, destroys it, and has half of Encel Twitter and their enablers talking about the way they can't find a good black woman. I will say that if you are pushing sixty. How old is Jeezy? 50, 60? If you're pushing that old and you still can't find a way to find a functional relationship and you keep making families and break it, baby, well, we already know what the problem is. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.